Welcome to the AI Sprint Security Tools presentation. My name is Andre Martin and I'm a senior researcher at TU Dresden. First, I want to quickly review the personas that we have in AI Sprint. First, there is the infrastructure provider. He is usually provisioning the computing and data storage infrastructure that exists either as a physical or as virtualized components such as virtual machines. Besides the infrastructure provider, we have also the application service provider. That person typically provides as Docker images, for instance, a federated learning framework, for instance, TensorFlow or Intel OpenFL, which can be used in order to carry out machine learning tasks and AI applications at hand. Then we have the application architect and manager, which uses the end user's data and the application, for instance, a federated learning framework in order to train a model and to provide a service, for instance, for automated medical diagnosis. These models are then typically used by some end user who provides medical data from patient as well as utilizes these trained models for an automated diagnosis. But of course all these four personas would benefit from enhanced securities such as provided by security tools of the AI Sprint tool chain. So where do the security tools actually jump in or come in into the pipeline of the AI Sprint design workflow? So first, as mentioned previously, we have the application developer and architects that develop the applications. These applications usually are carried out at Docker containers and they are generated using Docker Compose or Docker files in order to carry out a certain functionality. In order to enhance the security, we use a transformation approach which turns a regular native Docker container into a secure Docker container, which is then finally deployed on the application's infrastructure in order to carry out a certain task, which is then done by the AI Sprint runtime when the models are actually trained or when an inference is being carried out. So let's have a play first a quick look at the infrastructure at the whole AI Sprint tool chain and where the security tools actually jump in. The security is actually carried out through the SCONE framework as well as Chima. And as we can see on this figure, the tools will be actually tightly integrated or security will be tightly integrated into all the stacks. So that means in Kubernetes as well as the particular applications that are Spycoms, OSCAR, SCAR, as well as the AI Sprint monitoring system, Crack, Space for IAE, as well as the infrastructure manager. So let's have a quick look at the individual components of the scone or of the actually security tool chain. It can be broken down into the following components. So we have set up tools which actually help us to transform, for instance, native applications and confidential applications. And then we have the runtime support actually, which consists of both for hardware where we have TEs available, such as Intel SGX, as well as runtime support for hardware we don't have TE support, for instance, where we don't have a TE capable CPU. For the setup tools, we have actually two tools. We have the cross compiler, which actually helps us to compile an application in such a way that it will then use later use the TE hardware support that is available on the nodes by adding some extra instrumentation, as well as we have the Sconify image tool, which transform a native Docker image into a confidential one. With for the runtime support for an application, we have the following components. We have the SCONE runtime, which was previously compiled in or built in using our SCONE NFI image tool or the cross compiler, which actually provides the possibility to run these applications into these so-called enclaves. In addition to that, we have the file shield system support such that file like file access will be protected, so if files are being generated or read, these can be encrypted transparently when the application is running in the enclave. In addition, we have the network shield, which provides shielding for network traffic such that no one can look into the data that is exchanged between the several services that AI Sprint supports. 
In addition to that, we have the configuration and attestation service, which provides as the name says attestation for all the services that run in AS Sprint. In addition, with the configuration service, which provides the keys which are needed in order to access data in a secure manner. And we have the policy server, which provides the access policies for the for the Chimer component, which provides the security for network-based access of components such as edge devices, which access the infrastructures through the 5G network. For components that cannot run with TE support or where we don't have TE support on these physical nodes, we use actually secure and measured boot, which provides first a good foundation in order to verify if an operating system has been manipulated or not. And this concludes the first introduction and the security tools that we use in AI Sprint. Thank you for watching and listening.